Star Wars Force Friday showed us a lot of really cool toys. The most desirable one of all is, uh, to me, the BB-8 toy, which I cannot stop looking at right now. It's uh, a very cute and adorable toy. Uh, it's, it's made by Sphero, which is known for making an, a, a rolling ball of their own. Though this one would have very different uh, physics going into it because of the little head that rolls around. Um, this was created by Sphero, who was in the inaugural class of the Disney Accelerator program. And there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, I was very confused about how it works. Uh, I would say one word, though, that would make it easier to understand. Hamsters! You know, like a hamster ball. Uh, but I brought someone here who can explain it much better than I am. Uh, Grant, help us. Yes, Sphero. <laughs> I've actually, I've done promotions with Sphero. And uh -huh. so they showed me what was inside the original Sphero. And it's true. I mean, this one has similar DNA to those. Uh, but it does have the little head, which pops no! off. He's so cute. He's so cute. But, um, yeah, and, and it's, it's really quite complicated what's inside of here. There are multiple gyros. Uh, the microcontroller has to, to take all of that data along with all the user data through mm -hmm. your Bluetooth connection and put that all together to make him move around. So it's like shifting mass inside of it, but mm -hmm. in a way that it would be able to keep, I would say, the mag magnetic head on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. Uh, let's take a look at a video that might explain it further. With only one tightly sealed seam connecting the two halves of bb 8 shell, we were forced to break out the rotary tool and go into surgery. Sorry, BB-8. After progressively cutting more and more cover material away, we were able to free the internal mechanism, the heart and soul of the BB-8. Like we suspected, a gyroscope and two wheels are used to keep BB-8 upright. The large counterweight keeps the two wheels in contact with the shell, giving internal mechanism traction and allowing it to right itself at all times. To keep BB-8's head attached, a stem extends upward from the base and ends with a magnet. This magnet is what keeps the head attached. So a lot of it looks like torque and angular momentum uh, to make sure that he's able, or it, it's genderless technically, uh, <laughs> is able to uh, maneuver the way it's supposed to. Yeah, I mean, if you think about him as a pendulum, that always wants to find the lowest point. Mm -hmm. What they do is they drive up the, the inside of the ball with that mass and it wants to roll down. Mm -hmm. And so by doing that, you can continue to move forward. And you can see when, when he moves, when he drives around, he kind of, his head kind of goes back and then it goes forward. So and then when he stops, he kind of rocks. So it's uh, interestingly very similar to the original series of Sphero, but from what I understand, very different to what's in the BB-8 that they use. In oh, the, the the functional the full size. Functional one, the one that we saw on uh, Star Wars, at Star Wars Celebration. Celebration, and we all lost our freaking minds because it moved on its own. It was practical. I did too. I, you know, as as a droid expert, yes, having worked in special effects for a number of years, I saw that at Celebration, mm -hmm. and up till then, I had assumed it was all computer graphic. But when I saw that, I, along with everybody else, lost my mind. And, and you've I, been building your own. I, at that moment, said, I not only have to figure out how this works, but I'm going to build my own. So uh, you stream that sometimes. Yes. It's been, uh, you know, I was making great progress up until con season happened, and then uh, convention, not con film festival. And I just kind of stalled the project. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I vow that I will return to that project. So I, I will come back and I will finish my BB-8. Yay. So y the way you're making yours, is it, is it the same basic design or is it a little bit different what's going on inside? It's, I mean, this one has a polycarbonate shell first and foremost. So there are super magnets which hold the head on, but that's where the similarity ends. Um, and I will be, I'll, I'll be revealing as I build it because mm -hmm. my shell is going to be clear so you can see exactly what's going on inside. Mm. And this, of course, there's no, uh, I mean, it has to roll around. So how do we charge it? Inductive charging. Yeah, yes. so there's a base right here. and Because if, if there were a port, it would get full of dust right. and sand. Yeah, and so technically these, the spheros, you can toss them in water and they'll float and roll around. Um, but it has to be sealed. And so there's a coil uh, in the base here. And mm -hmm. 
through inductive charging, charges up the internal battery. And when he charges, he actually kind of looks around. Yeah, he, he was doing that when I was putting on my makeup for the show. And it was adorable, y'all. Audience, do you, do you want a BB-8? And what do you think of this? Let us know below in the comments. And please subscribe for more.